Okay guys, before we get to the garden, I'll show you that we have some hostas almost done blooming here. Spirea is just starting. Rubber plant is just big and beautiful. And our lilies back here. Day lilies almost done. And our leatrices are just starting. And this I'm not sure what it is, but it's very delicate and beautiful. And my cover plants have been mutilated in this one garden by probably grasshoppers, but hey, there's more where that came from. And these ones are still doing considerably well. And this was my lettuce planter, and it was an epic fail, so I might have time to do another batch. It bolted way too soon and became very bitter. And the herb planter is just amazing still. It seems to really like the nutrition in the soil, so I'm very happy with this. I have to do some dehydrating today. And this is the first time that I've ever done container planting, especially for large plants such as Gord's Hopi Pale Grey Squash. And last week we did have one that broke off. I think Stitch Berry probably knocked it off. But good news, we have another one. So here's the planter with that rogue lettuce. And so I tried some of this yesterday. It looks beautiful, but it is nasty, bitter. Yep, no good. And then in here we also have some parsnips too. And it looks like some sort of weed. Or maybe it's, I don't know. Spinach or something, I don't know. So yeah, parsnips maybe might get a few. And my dill isn't looking too, too bad. But it's really tiny. But I do have more dill where this comes from. And same with the lettuce. It also happened to my arugula and that Chinese red and the green lettuce too. It bolted too fast and became very bitter. I just fed it to the chickens. Even the chickens are not appreciating the bitter. Same thing happened with my spinach. But we have sunflowers. So we'll be able to feed the seeds to the birds. Epic fail on the radishes too. Look at that. There's even a caterpillar intertwined in there. Oh, gross. So I'm going to have to redo radishes, lettuce, spinach, maybe arugula in one of the raised beds. We'll get to that. And here's the kale. Like I mentioned before, I always have problems whereby something is always eating my cabbage-based products. So another fail, but hey learning okay so the swiss chard is looking lovely i'm happy with this and i wonder if it's bitter oh yeah it's bitter gross what is going on anyone else having the same issue so we're doing really good on the herbs everything's flowering though look at my parsley so yeah, dehydration station. Everything is looking beautiful in here. Cilantro, basil, lemon basil back there. Okay, my first time too doing cucumbers in a planter. So we're doing okay with these. These are the burpless beauties. Okay, and oddly enough, okay, these came from seed packs. These are supposed to be the sweet garden cucumbers. Well, these ain't no cucumbers, and these came out of a pack. So does anyone know what the heck this plant is? Because it came out of the seed pack. What the heck is going on? Here are some onions that can probably be thinned out. And over here, my, my chives and a little bit of sage. And, okay, these tall things, this was supposed to be a seed pack of garlic chives. Well, to me, that looks like it's going to be like a dahlia or some sort. I don't know. 
What do you guys think? Okay, and our marigolds and gourds planter are doing really nice. What I do is I keep the deadheads, I dry them out, and there are seeds right inside of here. So here are your marigold seeds. Keep them, dry them out. And we have some lilies blooming back here. And they're also producing seeds. So if anyone would like any, let me know. And here's another lily. This one's tall. It's almost like the height of our apple tree. Just beautiful. Girls are still doing good. And we have a surprise. Beatrice is sitting on some eggs. Hi, Gretchen. There's Marilyn. Oh, there's Phyllis. Stepdad bought me a new sign. Fruit trees are doing okay. It looks like somebody plucked off my very first yellow raspberry, though. Thieves. Nothing on this one yet. And I'm gonna need some trellises. This is the gooseberry. And I think maybe next year for the red currants, I did pick some currants at my parents' place last week. Red currants. I'm at my parents' place today, spending some time with mom and the berries have really exploded this year. Wow, it's like double the amount from last year. So I think I'm gonna be here a while. Okay, now into this thing. All the raised beds. What do we got growing on? So I plunked some potatoes in here. And then these are just all weeds here. This is just the compost pile. So I think these were pumpkins. So they're doing okay, considering. And then in this one, I do have more dill. You can see it's very tiny. I've got some weeds happening in here. But I love dill, so the more the merrier. And in this one, my garlic. I don't know when to pull the garlic. I did pluck off the scapes already. There's one more. And the scapes I just dehydrated. And this thing, remember it was started out really tiny. So this thing is huge. I don't know if it's going to be a flower, but I'm kind of just leaving it to see if it will flower. And onion patch, yeah, not really successful, so uh, I need to replant. On a positive note, we have tomatoes. Beautiful. And some of my jalapenos are out, looking awesome. This one doesn't have anything yet. Some baby ones here too. And the hot banana peppers are, some of them are ready to be harvested, like this big guy here. And I do have some cherry tomatoes happening. This is a big tomato plant. Look at the size of those ones down there. I love fresh tomatoes and even green fried green tomatoes. Yum. So these were the peppers that I started from seed. And we do have a couple starting here. And back there, those were my organic cucumbers so with the dogs stepping on them when they were first starting out they are doing okay they're starting to climb but I mean I lost so many and this was a huge seed tape that I did two rows of and that's all that I managed to get and then there's also some sunflowers back there okay and folks I made this mistake last year but um, it's kind of funny because I kind of did it again this year, but not as bad. So last year in this one, I had like six huge plants and we had to grow them upwards. Um, this year, there's only three plants in here. But it's, yeah, it's a little bit intense. So there's two zucchini plants in this one and tomato in the middle. And it's just way too much for one raised bed. But lesson learned. Um, nothing on this one, but we do have some zucchinis over here. Now I just got to watch out for the slugs, but we might be okay because we're in a raised bed. So yay on the zucchinis. Okay, so in here we have beans. So you can see we got bean production happening here. I could probably do a little bit of a harvest today on ones like this size. I've already had a few yesterday. 
so the bean production is going awesome however in here what I did was I put beets so I have pushed back the beans but they still just keep growing and growing so I don't think my beets are gonna do all that great especially since I started marigolds from seed and they're just taken over so yeah it looks it looks awesome but yeah it's a bit of a tight squeeze so and here's one female okay yeah so this thing was just growing on the ground so I might have to make a trellis and grow up again I'm thinking um, but I'm starting to get fruit awesome and the plantain has just gone crazy too this is like where we walk and so I did want to get some wood chips or something to prevent weeds but I mean plantain it's edible and it's got lots of benefits for your health and for skin conditions too so let it grow okay hatch and green thumb I'm growing Christmas trees and I really did try not to but I might need help here but looking lovely and here's the potato patch one of them anyways the other ones are in containers back there and we have more peppers green peppers starting I'm so happy this is my first time actually growing peppers and I'm happy with the way that the hay is keeping in the moisture we've had a lot of rain here but the hay is really really picked it up a notch for me peppers in there I'm really happy some more there there's some bigger ones there and some hot ones there yay okay onto this little section our corn is super short, but it's starting to grow. This is just the one corn corn patch. And I'll probably be able to get some more rhubarb here soon. I've already done a harvest, so that's super exciting. And I did send some rhubarb seeds out to a few folks, so I hope that you'll be getting those in the mail soon. And I had a rogue tomato plant. It doesn't appear to be producing anything just yet. Sorry, tomato. Did I say tomato or potato? Because I think this one is potato right next to it. So I have no idea how that got there, but it's in there. And some more peppers. Lots of flowers. Peppers, something's eating this one though. So I should maybe pluck that off. Or just leave it there so they can feed off that and leave all the other plants alone. Here are the carrots. And mixed in with the carrots, we have the celery. Oh, you can see that the celery is doing awesome. I think I have eight plants of the celery in this raised bed. And that right there is the asparagus. So it's kind of in the training stages for a few years before it really produces. Celery all back there, and then there's some sunflowers and sunflowers popping up everywhere and these things are huge so they do take up a considerable amount of real estate in the raised beds but i wonder if it's doing something positive for the carrots because it's providing a bit of shade i don't know okay another planter and we have a zucchini an odd shape but hey it works love zucchini and back here, you'll remember that I planted the corn and the sunflowers together, and then I did rows of peas. So the peas can climb up the corn and the sunflowers. So it's kind of happening as planned. But you can see here that something is definitely eating my turnip leaves, which is fine. Um, I think it's the grasshoppers. It could be, I don't know, we had an aphid issue on the parsnips, which I have to go back and do that one, that raised bed. Um, but you can see I'm growing huge turnip. This is awesome. My first time ever. And potatoes. So what I had to do with the potatoes is I put them into these 
totes. So what I had to do was go and get some more totes. I just got those from my uh, friend who owns a recycling facility and just stacked it. Cut the bottom out, but I will need to put some more soil and hay in these, but they're growing huge. I just hope that uh, I'm gonna actually have potatoes, right? Okay, and over here, it's the same thing. The corn with the peas. So we got the corn growing on, the sunflowers back there, and we do have peas right in here. Should be ready in a couple days for those. And these ones here in this back bed, oh, this, I think that's a potato, I believe. And I think that these were pumpkins or something. Remember, those were those rogue seeds that I had, but nothing yet for fruit. But I'm really happy with what's going on back here in the raised beds and in the planters, so far, anyways. So now I can take you over to the Hugo Culture Garden. On the way back, let's harvest some beans. Is that a culprit? They're everywhere this year. Okay, folks, so my parsnips. I'll put a little clip in and then my leeks. Yeah, so I yanked all the parsnips yesterday. Okay, this is the Hugo Culture Garden, and this one I just kind of let things go crazy. Raspberry plants. See? Grasshoppers. Pumpkin or a squash. Nothing happening yet. This is all milkweed, which just goes crazy in here. And nothing yet in this one either. And zucchinis. And folks. You can eat these flowers. You just make a nice batter, fry them up. These are the males. So they won't produce a the fruit. They just fertilize. But yeah. And you can see all the tendrils. Everything's connecting to each other. Just let it go. The milkweed is starting to produce the seed pods. This all started out is very tiny. I need to come in here and yank this all out it's choking out the rest of the stuff. More milkweed. Cute little beetle. And this, I have no idea what this is. Tomato plant, nothing happening yet. Another squasher pumpkin, nothing happening yet. Just kind of tiny. And we just gotta watch this one for slugs. Little tiny zucchini. I'm so bummed out that our watermelon and our honeydews did not turn out this year. Plantain galore. Beautiful. And the columbine. All gone to seed. Well, this will spread for next year. Seeds are in there. You even have some yarrow growing in here. Another medicine. Lilacs. Yeah, when we started this Hugo culture, it was never ever this full. So it's just kind of naturally gone crazy. Some clover, you can feed that to the chickens. Tomato, a little tiny plant here. And more raspberries. And back here we have a hosta and some irises, yarrow. And looks like something had made a cocoon. Cool. So that's the back field where I go and pick blueberries normally, but this year they're very tiny and very um, scattered. So, but there's lots of different wild edibles back there and uh, just lovely going for a walk back there. Be mindful. So in the front, you can see our lilies are almost done. Our viatrices are starting. 
I don't know if these are edible. Maybe Arc Wild Man or North Shore Nose. More flowers. It just looks pretty old uh, tractor seat that I'll just picked up. All of our lupins gone to seed too. Right there. And we do have some coneflower echinacea. That's what it looks like, Gray Man. So that's the little Canada flag. That's some geocachers left. And there's our geocache right there. It's called Tree Huggers. And over to the front, some of our lilies gone to seed. Very cool. I haven't seen these. Just kind of like a wild front garden in here got happening. I did put a couple of the pumpkin plants in here to see how they would do. And here's another of the coneflower family. The black-eyed Susan also has medicinal properties. Gord pointed that out to me. So everything is doing pretty good here. Here's one of those little ones. And here's our raspberry patch. So I can come and pick some later. It's not doing too bad considering it's only been like a year that they've actually really been growing since last year. Hmm. Yeah. And this is the front. Just plants. Pumpkin, I think. And the Wygalia. It is so beautiful when it's in full bloom. It's almost done blooming now. But yeah, guys. So that's the garden tour, late July, Ontario, Canada. What's growing on? Thank you for watching. Take care, be safe, and God bless.